Today I need you to embrace what comes hard. Today I need you to accept the challenge. Today I need you to fall in love with the process. There will be plenty of opportunities to get discouraged, to lose your passion and think that it's not meant to be. But if you're going to reach your destiny, you have to have a made up mind. If you give up after the first time or the fifth time or the 30th time, what that really means is you didn't want it bad enough. There should be something you're believing for that you are relentless. You are not moved by how impossible it looks. You're not discouraged by how long it's taking. You don't give up because people told you no. Your attitude is, if I have to believe my whole life, I am not going to stop believing. I am not going to take no for an answer. I'm not going to settle for mediocrity. I'm going to keep pursuing what put in my heart. And ask yourself, what do I really want? What do I really want? And write it down. Writing causes thinking. Thinking creates an image. And you get these images going, you're building a vision in your mind. It's the visionaries that's changed the world. Think of that. But what keeps that competitive edge, what keeps you on top, is the ability to think and prepare mentally over and over and over again. The body has limitations, the mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. Everything starts from here. If you're not mentally ready, you're never really physically prepared. And that's where the preparation starts. What would your life be like as you look toward the future? If you decided, I'm not going to allow my peers to stop me. And I'm saying to you, whatever you gotta do, do it, because if you don't, life is gonna whoop you until you surrender. So when you're young and you make mistakes, don't let them eat you up. Mm. Cause everybody that done made it, done made them. You got to fail in order to win. Hey look man, to understand how to hit the game when it's shot, you got to miss the game when it's shot. You know, you got to be tough because the road to success is always under construction. It's never a clear path to success. The people who become successful are the people who have a relentless attitude. And you just got to hang in there through the bad breaks, because the bad breaks is coming. But they usually come right before the big break is about to happen. You get a series of bad breaks and it stumbles up a lot of people. My life and my success is to say to anyone, you can stumble, you can fall, you can get back up again. No matter what you face, no matter how bad it is going to be, when there is a challenge, and by a challenge I mean anything in life, any, any challenge, anything that you're facing, the only way to overcome the challenges that you face is to start walking. Take that step every day, no matter what you are facing. Get up and start walking. I have the ability to see the end before the beginning even begins. And what that means is I know that to get to the very end, I can see it right now. So before I went to Bud's and I was losing all this weight and shit, I saw myself walking across the stage at 191 pounds. That's what I had to get to, to, to get into the door. I saw myself six months, a year later, whatever it's going to take me to do it. I saw myself walking across that stage, getting that certificate of graduation from Bud's. And I was able to be there at 300 pounds. And that feeling that I was nowhere near that feeling, I was able to put myself there a million times every day. And that feeling of like, my God, that is going to feel amazing. That's what made me suffer. That's what allowed the pain to be real and say, this is worth it. 
I want to feel for this next 18 months. It took me 18 months to finally become a Navy to finally, you know, just get through butts. 18 months. It's six months. It took me 18. That's what woke me up every morning was I'm going to put myself through this much pain and suffering for a few seconds. That's all it is. A few seconds of joy. And it's so worth it, man. I said, people don't get it. So I'm able to put myself at the finish line, even though I have no finish line, but at the finish line of an event before I even start the to say, how are you going to feel at the end of this? Visualizing is, is my biggest tool of life. That's why I, I, I've been able to put myself in cold water, put myself in a hundred mile race millions of times before I've done it. And I've been able to go through the race and see how I'm going to feel at mile 50. Almost to the almost to the exact exact feeling. Right. So when it comes up, it's no surprise. It's no surprise. I've already done this a million times.